Today is Mother's Day, so before we get into it, I just want to wish every single mother out there in the universe a very, very happy and blessed Mother's Day. You guys work so, so hard day and night, putting food on the table, putting a roof over our head, and raising the future generations of humanity, and we literally would not exist if it wasn't for you, so shout out to all the moms. Now, throughout my time in existence, I have viewed my fair share of cartoons and animation entertainment and it is those cartoons that I blame for my ongoing love of older women. Some of these animators have absolutely no business making some of these moms so damn fine but oh my gosh I promise you I'm not complaining. So to celebrate Mother's Day I thought what better way than to do a tier list of some of the most iconic animated moms throughout history. I know this video is a little bit different than what I usually do but I just wanted to try out something a little bit different and I want to know how you guys feel. So without wasting any more time let's just hop right into it. <laughs> So here we are with the tier list. It is kind of small, but there was one that was so damn gargantuan. I could barely even wrap my brain around how many moms were on that tier list. So I think this is a pretty good list, pretty solid list. Got pretty much most of the iconic moms that we would expect to be on here. So we starting out right out the gate, bro. We got the auntie from Big Hero 6. Now listen, I just watched this movie for the first time like last week and let me tell you, oh my golly gee, where them things was thangin'. Next up here, we got Blue Hair Bulma herself, mother of Trunks, wife of Vegeta. Now the thing about Bulma is she's terrifying, bro. She's, she's, she's terrifying because she's got a bad attitude when she's pissed and she's a super, super genius, but oh my god, Oh my god, is she fine, bro? So she goes she goes right up to S, right here next to Auntie. Now we got good old Johnny Bravo's mama. Now the thing about Johnny Bravo's mama is she thick, right? She got she got a booty on her. But she got gray hair too. So I feel like she's a she's a, she's kinda old for me, man. I don't know, man. I'ma put her right down here at C. I'm kinda kinda neutral about her. Like I don't hate her. But I don't love her either. Oh, here we go. The star of the show. Mrs. Incredible. The OG King Pin of the Hot Pixar Mamas, bro. Oh my God. The Elastic Girl booty is out of this world. If you take Jupiter and Saturn and you put them together, that's literally Elastic Girl's booty. And the crazy part is, is she has the power to stretch any part of her body. And she don't even got to stretch her booty to drag that absolute wagon, dude. She, she's, she really is built different. Plus, she is so sweet and loving and she's an absolute great mother, bro. Like you cannot go wrong with an Elastigirl. Now we got the mom of the Rugrats. Now she's cool. She's she's cool. I feel like she's rich because she's a businesswoman. She's always on the phone dealing with business deals and stuff. So I feel like feel like she got money. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a gold digger. I'm not a gold digger, and I'm indifferent about her. So I'm gonna stick her right there at C. Chi Chi, the next Dragon Ball Z wife. Now Chi Chi. I'm gonna put Chi Chi below Bulma, right? Chi Chi, she's cool, bro, but oh my god, she terrifies me so much. I feel like I gotta drop her down a little bit. Dexter's mom, bro. Oh my god, dude. Now listen, bro. Now listen, bro. She might not look all that on the surface, but if you've seen that clip of her where she's in the swimming pool. <laughs> Ready to get wet? Oh my god, great googly moogly. I ain't never seen thighs like that. Oh my thunder thighs, bro. Gee golly, gee willikers. Now we got Tommy Pickles, mom. I feel like, I don't know, man. Tommy Pickles, mom never really was it for me. She ain't really, she, you know what I'm saying? She's super, super sweet and loving, but I don't know, man. She just, uh, the, her hair was kind of freaking me out, bro. She kind of looked like a clown with the way her hair is. Ooh, we got the beautiful Ebony Queen, bro. Needs no introduction whatsoever, bro. She going right up here in the S tier, bro. Ebony Queen needs no introduction. Oh my God, she thick as fuck. She like built, she's built 
like a normal like woman bro like when you think of like a normal real life mother that's how a lot of them are built bro shout out shout out to ebony queen bro all right now we got the lady from american dad she's just kind of whatever i don't know man I, i'm not a huge american dad kind of guy so she never really did anything for me so I'm just stick. I'm just sticking right here at C. This is Gumball's mom, bro. Gumball, I'm putting her at B. I'm putting Mama Gumball at B, bro, cause she's a cat. So she loses points for being an alien. I feel like bestiality is illegal, so I'm not. I'm not putting her at S tier. But you know what I'm saying? She got that attitude. She'll break somebody's neck if she's angry enough. And I feel like I need some of that spice in my life. You know what I mean? Jimmy Neutron's mom is going right up here in B tier as well because her head is big as hell, and I know her head game goes absolutely insane, bro. Now we got one of the mamas here from South Park. I think this is Kyle's mom. I think, I think this is Kyle's mom. Now, out of all of the moms on South Park, I think she's the worst one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think, I think she's the worst one. So, I'm gonna put her down here at D, bro. She's like a, she's, 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 she, I don't know why, bro. She irritates me. Just whenever she's on the screen, I just, I get angry. This is the, this is the mom from Bob's Burgers. I'm gonna put her down here at D tier. I don't know. She never... She never really did any much. She, she never really did much for me. Now we have Stewie Griffin's mother here. We got Peter Griffin's wife right here. Lois Griffin, bro. Lois Griffin. I feel like Lois Griffin is a perfect B. Solid, solid B. You know what I'm saying? She's great. She's amazing, but she's not anything too wild and crazy. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's, she's sort of just right. You know what I'm saying? She gives you just the right, just the right amount of flavor and taste. You know what I'm saying? Danny Phantom's mama, bro. Oh my God. She's going up here to S, bro. Oh my God. She got curves in places. I didn't even know you had curves. And she hunts ghosts. She literally hunts ghosts. Out of all of the occupations out of everybody on this list, I think she's the most badass one, bro. Ain't nobody out here hunting ghosts like her, bro. Shout out to her. This lady, I think she's from Archer. I've never watched Archer, and she looks like an old bag. She kind of looks like a Karen. As for a manager who doesn't want to wear a mask, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put her there at F. I'm good. I'm. I don't know who that is, and I'm good on her. Marge Simpson. Now listen. Now listen, here's the thing. If you've ever been a user on an adult film website, okay, then you would know that this woman, Marge Simpson, is a legend in the advertisements, bro. You, you go to one of them sites and Marge Simpson is in the corner bending over right in front of your face and you watch cartoon, beat off to some cartoon freak nasty, bro. I feel like just because of that... Just because of that, I feel like she she got to go to A, bro. I've, I've seen so many pictures of Marge Simpson in so many different ways, dude. I, I will never be able to get them images out of my brain or burn into my brain forever. This, this is a lady. I think she's from King of the Hill. I've never watched King of the Hill, but this lady looks like she smells like gasoline and cigarettes. So I'm, I'm good on that one. Now we've got Mama Squarepants here. Mama Sponge. Mama the greatest cartoon character of all time spongebob squarepants shout out mama sponge bro she fits right here at b she fits right here at b she is a beautiful woman she's a she's all nothing but curve you know what i'm saying spongebob he ain't got no type of curve on him he ain't got no ain't got no type of booty on him but his mama, stop it, his mama is all, there's nothing but straight curves. And because she's a sponge, she's super absorbent, if you know what I mean. Timmy Turner's mom. Now, the thing about Timmy Turner's mom is, you, I would put her at B, right? I would I would even put her at C, bro. But when you, when you look at that scene where she gets her new bathing suit, bro, she got she to gotta jump up a tear. She had the, the, ba the bathing suit scene just it, it does so many different things for me, makes me feel things. So I'm there, she go right there at B. And this is my year. Look, my old swimsuit still fits. Ooh, now we got Mama Proud, a little light skin baddie. I gotta put her up here at S because she got the cut, she got the small waist. Pretty face with the big bang, and she's a light skin. I gotta shop for the light skin baddies. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this? Who is? Who is? Is this the? She's like the mom for future for the girl for future. 
I don't even know what she looks like. I don't even think I've seen this one. Hold on. So it took me a minute to find her because I had no idea what the name of the character of her daughter was. Found out it was Leah. Le Leela. Her name is tu Turanga Munda. She's got a she's got a PhD. So she's a genius. Okay. She's got wrinkles. She has one eye. I don't know how I feel. Are these tentacles? Are these she has tentacles. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell nah. You go, nah, no, no tentacles. Uh-uh. She gonna stick those things in places where they do not belong. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. And she only got one eye. And she got wrinkles. I'm good. I'm, mm -mm, I'm good. Now we got Wanda from the Fairly Odd Pairs. Now, the thing about Wanda is... The thing about Wanda is, bro, I feel like when it comes to throwing it back, Cosmo might be a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? As, as you can see, I feel, I feel like my man, I'm, I'm, I'm on Cosmo's, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like Wanda grants wishes. She grants wishes, and I would love me a nice little honey who grants me some wishes, you know what I'm saying? But in terms of in terms of appearance, I don't know, man. She's, she's literally just head. She's literally a floating head with like little arms and legs that stick out, bro. She got pointy boo. Her boobies are pointy. She's got triangle boobies, bro. I'm with she's big old, big old giant watermelon head. So I'ma just stick her right here and see. This is uh this is the Thornberry's mama. Now the thing with her is she's smart and she's caring. She's a great mother. So she gets she gets bonus points for that, bro, but I'ma just, I'ma put her a D. I'ma have to put her a D, bro. I don't know. She, I feel, I feel like Debbie Thornberry was a little bit more up my alley, if you know what I mean. Oh my God, Mama Flintstone. Now, here's the thing about Mama Flintstone, right? Yeah, on the, on the outside, yeah, she's cool, right? She's, she's got the hips. She's got thighs. She ain't got no type of waist, right? She, she's thin. She's beautiful, right? But you gotta remember is she's a cave woman, right? This is, this is the Stone Age, right? So they didn't have razors at this time. They didn't have razors and they didn't have soap. So I feel like, I, I feel like hygiene wise, feel like hygiene wise, she's got, she's got an entire jungle going on down there that smells like an aquarium. So I'm 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 good on that. I'ma just I'll put her at I'll put her at D, but for her looks, yeah, everything else I feel like it, 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 that ain't it, that ain't it. This lady I forgot her name. What is her name? She's from Emperor's New Groove, bro. This might be the most beautiful pregnant woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God, I have yet to this day seen a more beautiful pregnant woman than this lady right here, bro. Oh my, I'm in love. I am in, I'm putting her at the very beginning, bro. I mean, I am in love with this woman and she doesn't even know I exist. And she doesn't even really exist. That's the crazy part. Now we got Mama Jetson. We gonna clap some futuristic cheeks. Oh my God, Mama Jetson is built diffy. Mama Jetson is built diffy. I feel like she's not quite an S tier, but she's, oh my God, she's definitely towards the top, dude. Oh, woo! Woo wee, bro. I don't even, I don't even got to explain Mama Jetson to y'all. What in God's name is this? Who the fuck? Why does she, she looks like she got pointy ears and she's blue and she's, well, I don't know who the fuck this is, dude, but she's down here at F. She's absolutely down here at F. She look like a, she look like a, like a, like a, is this Ash Ketchum's mom from Pokemon? I don't think I've ever seen her. I don't think I've ever seen her, but I feel like I gotta put her at C, just cause she doesn't look that bad, but I don't even, I've never, I've never, I've never seen her, so I don't, I don't know anything about her. And last but not least, we got Hey Arnold's mama, she's going all the way down here at D, oh my gosh, she's going all the, all the way down here at D, bro, I don't know much about her either, but she ain't really, ain't really doing much, she got a... Big old head, skinny ass neck. She's built like a wooden spoon. So I'ma just, I'ma just put her down here at D. So this is my completed tier list. Hopefully I didn't scare any of you guys away. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm a fucking freaky freak show weirdo for sitting here rating the attractiveness of fictional animated mothers. But let me know what you guys think. You guys agree with my list? Is there somebody you would move up or down? What do you guys think? Let me know. And let me know what you guys thought of this tier list video. I thought it would do something a little different. But if I had to make a tier Top five out of everybody in S, it would definitely be oh my god, Emperor's New Groove, Pregnant Mama, Auntie from Big Hero 6, 
Mrs. Incredible Booty. Oh my God, Miss Miss Incredible Booty. I gotta put Dexter's mom up here. I gotta put I gotta put Dexter's mom up here. Move, and then I gotta put Mama Proud up here. My little light skin baddie, bro. This is my top five. This is my this is my bottom five right here. He's four, and then this lady down here. For my bottom five, we got Mama Hey Arnold. We got this old bag from Archer. We got the chain smoking, gasoline smelling lady from King of the Hill. We've got the tentacle lady from Futurama, and whoever the hell this is from whatever the hell she's from. This is, this is my bottom five. And this is my top five, bro, oh my god. But that's my list. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know what you guys thought of this, and I will catch you guys in the next one.